Shalom. First and foremost, let me start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to our Lord Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakah Kadash, the bars to the elders and apostles, a great millstone, who we will teach well. I also want to give a shout out there to the whole Follet, you Akim, if you Aqua, to Cecilia, and it's true, as well as believers of this word, but not just believers who do us as well. And to you, I'd like to say Shalom. Now, the title of this lesson is. <laughs> Just let it burn, you know. And what I mean by that, man, let this place burn, man. You know, and, you know. And one thing, I, I, another thing, I do want to say, man. Just like the elders had brought out, you know, if you're not vexed at this place, something is wrong with you, man. <laughs> you, you, you clearly are not in the right spirit if you're not vexed. At Babylon the Great, man. All the wickedness that's that's pushed in this place, man. Now, you see the title here. But, um... I'm just read this little part right here. It says, Transformer Sprinter C.C. Teffler and NCAA Track Div Division 2 Track and Field Champion 2019 was ruled ineligible to compete in the women's 400 meters hurdles, U.S. Olympic trials due to her t t t testosterone levels. You know, it, it just, the fact you let this thing right here live, you let this, this shit right here, you know, slack you, you know, but you let this right here walk, continue to walk the earth, man. You, you, you damn wrong, man. You're in the wrong. And that's why this place has to be destroyed. Because of the wickedness it pushes. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm going to get straight into the scriptures. Because looking at it, it is very vexing. Let me start off in the book of Isaiah 5 and 20. And I'll highlight it. And it says. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that put darkness for light and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter and who was them Esau Edom man so called white man the devil that the bible speaks of man here it is this nigga pushed forth all this wickedness and believe it's good man you know he believe it's okay to, to, to be a transformer. You could be whatever you want to be, man. Do as thou wilt. That free will shit, man. When this nigga is out of his mind because he's going up, he's really going up against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. And that's why this nigga got to be put down, man. Like a damn dog. Because of how wicked he is, man. He, he's, he's the beast of the earth, man. You know? And I can really go on and on and on about this nigga, man. All the names, you know, he, he is, man. And you have this right here. You have all this wickedness going on because, you know, as it says, Job um, 9 and 24, you know, that often comes out. That, that You know, the spirit going to forever have that come out, man. You know. But the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, man. And this is what happens when you got the earth, you know, the earth in the hands of the wicked. Wickedness is going to be pushed forth. You see? And not even just that, you got pork, man. You know, the most filthiest beast. You know, in animal kingdom, man. A damn pig, a hog, man. This nigga pushed forth that so hard like it's turkey or something. You know, like it's a foul or something, man. You know? And and, and then you, you go in this restaurant and you pay extra for it. <laughs> you pay extra for the abomination, man. You got to be out your wicked ass mind, man. You see? The Lord is really going to bring it down on this place, man. 
And we just hastening on that time, Lord willing, by the end of this year, at least, at least, if not this year, sometime next year, man. At least at the beginning of next year. No, Lord will, man. You know, and, and ultimately, man, the Lord going to have to really put it on our spirit to be ready for that. You know, ready for that time. But, you know, we, you know, we're ready for Yahweh Shah, man, to come to step in. Because this, this nigga got to be taken down, man. This nigga got to be taken down. You know, Let, let's get, you know, what we often get right here, Revelation 18. And I want to start. Mm. Let me start at verse 1. And then these things, and after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, is become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit. And a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunken of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. See, that's that, um, you know, the earth is giving it to the hands of the wicked. You know, everybody, you know, everybody done, done drunk from this bitch, man. You know, you know, I don't know if I said it before, but I know I've been watching a, a video, man, on the uh, Taliban, you know. They was talking about how Afghanistan took on the ways of America and it was time for a new government. See, everybody done drunk off this bitch juice, man. Everybody done drunk off that Babylon juice, man. You see? Now you got Transformers all over the world freely, man. But continue, and it says, And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Because, you know, Lord is really going to bring it down upon him, man. And Lord, we'll, we'll, we'll step in second edges in just a second, you know. But let me continue. Uh, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh have remembered her iniquities. So yeah, her sins reached up to to heaven, man. You see, all the wickedness this place pushes out, man. It done reached up to the Lord, man, and the Lord ain't ain't, ain't he ain't forgot for what they did to the children of Israel, man. The sins they did upon us. The 12 trials, man. You see it right here. Say, Yahweh has remembered her iniquities. Lord ain't going to forget that, man. Man, the devil got a lot to pay for, man. <laughs> Just can't wait, man. Man. Let me go down. Matter of fact, let, 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 let's get into some of these plays, man. Let's get into some of these plays. Let's see. You are I already know where I'm going, man. Here it is. Let's start off in verse 5. It says, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword. So like again, the earth is giving it to the hands of the wicked. So the plagues are going to be brought all upon the world, man. And really, you know, that's talking about you know, no, the the um the world Esau, those who live in this doctrine of Esau, man. You know, cause you're not gonna have the whole planet Earth, you know, just destroyed. You're really gonna have places hidden that get hit. That you know, the main places on the map. Let's just say Babylon the Great for one. That's the first on the hit list, man. But to keep going since the sword. Famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. So, yeah, man, everybody done drunk, you know, from the cup of this bitch, man. And again, it's a lock you from my French, but it's the truth. If you can't handle the truth, then you know, you, you, you get stepping, man. Go find something else to watch, man. <laughs> 
You know? He said, for the faint hearted, man. But it continues to therefore say the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And that's what we're doing here, man. We're doing that now, man. As I speak, man. You know, brothers are, are making videos. You you just seen the notifications come up, man. We 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 complaining about this bitch, man. We sick and tired of this bitch, man. You know. But continue, and therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, that might be. Hold on, let me see lock. I think I'm going to skip down a little bit. Let me skip down a little bit. It says, okay, come on. Uh, verse 14 says, Woe to the world and them that dwell, dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw of not. And one people shall stand up and fight against another. And, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And I'm, uh, mm, let me see, I, I'm going to read a little bit more and I'm uh, make a point on it, you know, and then Lord, would that be it. It says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses to sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulations. So, yeah, man, the Lord's going to be, he's going to kill this bitch from the inside to the out, man. And that's prophecy right there, what we read, man. Sedition among men. It's going to get crazy out here, man. You see the wickedness all rising? You see the wickedness rising? Matter of fact, let me see. The, the second edge is sick. No, second edge is five. All right, this is the book of second edge Chapter 5, verse 1, Nevertheless, as come the tokens, behold, they shall come, that they that wish to dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be burned of faith. But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest, or thou hast heard long ago. And the land that thou seest now have root shall thou see wasted suddenly. So yeah, man, we're seeing it now, man. We're seeing the wickedness rising up on the scale, man. And it's going to get worse from here. Because it ain't really really hit yet, to be honest. The fire ain't really even came down yet, man. Wait till these motherfuckers find out, you know, they're going to be put to death for taking that juice, man. <laughs> wait, wait to it, man. You know? Put a... Hey, Lord willing, it was edifying. That's all I wanted to touch on. Me and everybody giving all praise. I'm in glory to our Lord Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rokakadash, the bond to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well. I also want to give a shout out there to the hopeful elect, you Akim and few Akwas who are sitting in the truth, as well as believe that as well, not just believe, but do it as well. And again, Lord, when it's edifying, till next time I say Shalom.